everyone! Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is a scorcher here, so if you actually hear some humming in the background, it's because there's a bunch of fans going on over there, so... <laughs> and this room is going to get sweltering, so this will probably be a very short video. And it is going to be another unboxing video. There's not too much in this box, if I remember my order correctly. But, again, if you can't tell from the title below, Vans announced that they were going to have a collaboration with Sailor Moon and of course I have to get in on that. If you've been around a while or if you know me, you know I'm a huge, huge Sailor Moon fan and I will eventually get around to putting together my Sailor Moon collection video at some point. I just haven't had the time to do that because those ones are usually a lot bigger. But anyway, so I was really excited to hear that Vance was teaming up with Sailor Moon to release some merch. I wasn't able to get my hands on a lot of things and because I wasn't quite sure about my shoe size, I didn't want to buy a ton of them just to find out that they don't fit. So if they fit well this time, I might go back and buy more later depending on if, well, if they have any more in stock and if these fit well at least I'll be able to tell my size but anyway enough rambling I'm just gonna open this box and see what I got because again I don't quite remember what they look like <laughs> and I've never seen them in person I believe they also have storefronts in a lot of the van stores I think they were also released in journeys stores and Foot Locker for sure in the States I think I don't know if Foot Locker in Canada had it released or anything but enough enough I am too excited and I just need to open this stupid box <laughs> again no box cutter, trusty tweezers. You would think that I would get a box cutter at this point, but whatever. So here's the box and let's get to opening the package. As usual, I have my <laughs> trusty tweezers to open up this box because I always forget to pick up an X-Acto knife and at this point, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> All right. So I got a sweatshirt, I believe, like a bunny hug, and I got a t-shirt, it looks like, and I got the shoes. First, let's take a look at the shoes. I love the box. If you see, they got some great art on the front, and it's the same on the back. It's the same art there. And then they have like the nice little Vans and Sailor Moon right there. Oh, they look so dang cute. All right, let's take to opening them. Uh, so if you can see, it's very faint, but they have all the Sailor Moon symbols uh, and Sailor Scout symbols, so that's really cool and a really nice detail. These look so cool. I'm afraid they might be too big. <laughs> that it suck. Six and a half women's. So my feet are really small. They're like between a five and a six. But I know Vans can be quite narrow and my foot is very wide. Short, stubby, wide foot. So finding shoes is actually quite hard for me, which is why I like their slip-on style because they tend to be a bit wider and I do have a couple of those, but I've never had a lace-up like this. So I really hope they fit. But let's take a look at what this shoe actually looks like. Oh my God. Okay, I love this. I really hope these fit because I don't want to bring them back. <laughs> so on the outside you can see all the stars and kind of embossed in the design are the Sailor Moon and Sailor Scout symbols. Oh these look so cool. Nothing on the soles. Sometimes their shoes have things on the soles but not these ones. But for this specific shoe they have the different Scout symbols on the tongues. So on this one you can see Jupiter and Venus. And on this shoe, you can see Mercury and Mars symbols. And the rest of the shoe looks the same all the way around with the little moon on the back. Oh, these are so freaking cool. I hope they fit. I will be putting some footage probably at the end of this video showing off how all of this stuff looks, even though I'm not too keen on showing full body. I, well, you know. You know how it is. Nobody likes their bodies. Anyway, let's check out the other Sailor Moon shirts. Oh, this is so cute. Again, this might be so big. Unisex is so weird, but we'll see once it's actually tried on. Anyway, so as you can see, all the Sailor Moon tags have this like nice design on them. And then this specific shirt looks like that. So you can see up close all the old Sailor Moon 
90s designs and splash art and stuff. I really like this, oh my goodness. I don't actually have a lot of Sailor Moon shirts or anything, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I don't really have anything. My friend got me a big bunny hug for my Christmas present, and so that's the only Sailor Moon merch I have, but it's so freaking hot out right now that I just, I don't wear it. And that's gonna be the case for this next piece of clothing, because again, I think it's a bunny hug. And yes, I say bunny hug. Nobody else says bunny hug, but I say bunny hug. Because I'm originally from the prairies, Saskatchewan specifically, and uh, that's just what we call these. We call them bunny hugs. And I think it should be adopted everywhere because it's way cuter than hoodie. Let's show it off. So it just looks like that with her moon wand and the crystal. Oh, and then full, it looks like that. Nice little bunny hug, and I'm sure it's gonna be very warm when I'm able to wear it. Oh yeah, it's like got the really nice fleecy inside for it. It's really cool. I'm very happy. I wish I would have gotten more, honestly, but some of it was pretty expensive, so I had to be kind of conservative. I am going to go try these on, and I will be right back. <laughs> those are the Sailor Moon Vans collection items that I got. I was really happy with the fit of the t-shirt. It actually was fine. <laughs> the hoodie was really oversized, but that's how I like my hoodies, so it's gonna be great and warm, and I'm actually really hot from trying it on. <laughs> it is sweltering here. I think it's like, it says it's 27 outside, but that's outside. In here, with the lights, it's like at least 30, I swear to God. And I have no fans in here, so I'm just like, oh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm really happy with the shoes, too. They might be just a titch too big on my feet, but if if I were to ever wear these with socks, which I usually don't wear my shoes with socks, and I'm sure that grosses some people out, and I, yeah, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> my only small gripe is that because of the way the tongue sits with the tied up laces, it's really hard to see the Scout logos on the tongues when you have them all tied up and everything, but I might be able to figure out a way of tying them that can show them off a bit better. Maybe with uh, shorter laces it would be better, but again, if I were to tie them a bit too low then it might be too loose around my ankles and then yeah I don't know and because these are kind of narrow I'm afraid that if I would have gone with the size six they would have been a bit too tight and a bit too small so I think six and a half was good for me I just might get blisters but I get blisters with every single shoes I wear it doesn't matter even if I've broken them in if I haven't worn them for like three four months my feet just like forget that they've ever worn them and then I just get massive blisters that stay around for weeks and it's so painful Oh, anyway, enough of me just like griping. Now that I know that these shoes fit, I might go back and buy the Luna and Artemis kind of like purple and white checkered shoes. They were super cute and they glow in the dark. Unfortunately, I was kind of upset because it doesn't seem that Canada has this black and white version of kind of the high tops that the States got. They looked really, really freaking cool and they had like panels from the 90s cartoon kind of surrounding them and it kind of gave the feel of the old mangas as well and so I was kind of bummed that they didn't have those because I would have picked those up regardless of if I knew how they fit or not but I might circle back and get those Lunar Artemis ones now that I know how they fit so yeah tell me in the comments below if you have gotten any of the Sailor Moon merch what do you like about them what do you not like about them let me know if you're a Sailor Moon fans and like I said I will eventually post my Sailor Moon collection sometime again it takes a while to create. It will get done. It took me like six months to almost a year of trying to like psych myself up to make the amiibo video. It won't take me nearly that long to post the Sailor Moon one, I don't think. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and if you did, also give it a thumbs up and 
subscribe, that would be great. I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> also, let me know below if you have any videos that you would like to see from me. I'd like to make videos that y'all would like to watch as well as I would like to make. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for videos that you would like me to try and I will try and do those. Anyway, I hope you have a good night, a good morning, or whatever it is wherever you are, and I will talk to you later. Bye.